Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I've got a four-wheeler box. <laughs> um, so this box, probably the longest a box has ever taken to get to me before. It just got stuck, I think in Sydney, for like over a week. So it was a bit concerning, but anyway, it's here. Um, I'm going to apologise too, there is noise in the background. I'm not, I normally like filming these in my son's room. The lighting's good, there's a lot of room. I can put the phone up on his bed and, you know spread out um but he's home today so my husband is currently playing with him in the hallway they've got like a car set up with sort of i don't know things that shoot the cars propel the cars forward so you can probably hear that and the dog and all sorts of things but i figured i really want to i'm excited i really want to unpack the box and i like to film as i unpack the box so this is a i'd say it's a medium box for me um, in terms of the number of orders in it, like I've done some smaller ones. Um, my one next month is going to be much bigger. So it's got lots of big pre-orders. It's got Wax Wednesday. It's got all sorts of exciting things. This box has, I think it's got two or three ready to ships from L3. I can't remember exactly how many. Um, it's got Super Tarts. So it's got Super Tarts, uh, the Christmas Advent pre-order and some other stuff. And then I know it's got some Southbound and it's got some Elf, um, Lunar Wax. So, yeah, so probably less vendors, but a few orders, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's get stuck into it. So I haven't opened anything at all. So this time they've packaged some of the cards and stuff nicely, which is it's nice when my forwarder does this. They don't always do that. Um, so I've got this sticker from L3. I often don't – the stickers often don't make it to me, so that's nice. Um you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way, Dr. Seuss. Uh, your own soul is nourished when you were kind. It is destroyed when you were cruel. Um, so those are nice. And then I've got this card um, from, I think this would be uh, Amy from Lunar Wax. So thank you so much for making another order and continued support. Enjoy everything. Have an amazing day. So she's lovely. Uh, so. Packing rubbish. Okay, and they have, they've been really good lately, my um, forwarder, with bagging everything in um, these. It's funny, it must depend on who does the packing, because, like, one of the boxes I got, I think the time before last, they used the vendor's existing UPS uh, padded mailers and didn't unpack anything. Um, other times I've had things just sort of laid into the box, but, yeah, so I like it when they do this, personally, um, just because it means, you know, that they've, they are technically supposed to check all the contents and make sure that nothing's broken. Um, so not that it really matters with wax. Like they're not going to worry if a brittle's broken or anything. But anyway. So I've got uh, some samples from L3. So buttermint sugar cookie royale, pumpkin pecan waffles, cake batter sugar cookie royale. And let's see if I can see this one without opening it. Uh, expecto patronum. So white woods and peppermint. So... Um, yeah, so buttermint's probably not going to be my thing. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm keen to try hers. I don't like pumpkin pecan waffles normally, but I have heard really good things about hers being more creamy than spicy. So, uh, sample from Southbound. So, Carnival Time, sweet cotton candy, caramel apples, blue raspberry, snow cones, fresh funnel cake. Those are not usually my sort of scents, but, you know, so I'm going to sort of start trying to create piles for the different vendors that I've got here. Um, might make a bit more space. Uh, so L3 Waxy Wonders Eggnog, Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Buttercream. Uh, I used to, I don't know, I feel like I had a bad experience with eggnog and I was avoiding it. And then I tried that Rose Girls blend, uh, Christmas Eve and Cookie Land with eggnog and realized I actually really like it. As long as it's not blended with spicy things. So that smells really good. Uh, again, I know I say this every time. I'm going to try not to sniff everything. I will do individual videos for the vendors. But you know me. I get excited and then I like sniffing stuff. Uh, Heart-shaped cookies from Southbound. So pink sugar marshmallow, vanilla bean noel, frosted sugar cookie. So cute little shapes pack there. Uh, and strawberry seduction. So sweet strawberry frosting, fresh baked sugar cookies, yellow cake, and fresh picked strawberries. That I'm going to test and see if it's the strawberry I like or not. Yep, that's tolerable. That's good. It's not the strawberry that makes me feel bad. Uh, next bag. I think 
L3 dominates this box. Uh, so strawberry, bourbon, Tahitian, vanilla. So I thought I, I think I got this one because I was keen to know because I love strawberry, bourbon, strawberry, vanilla from um, Bath Body Works. So I was keen to see if this would turn out similarly. It doesn't, but I think I still like it. And interestingly, I think it has the strawberry that I don't love, but the bourbon makes it smell okay. Anyway, uh, buttercream, zucchini bread. Sugar Cookie Royale Wildberry Mousse. So I love her Wildberry Mousse and paired with zucchini bread. So I wanted more in different, you know, different twists on the same concept. Zucchini bread Fruit Loops. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking a mini break from work. So I just wanted to check that I wasn't missing a meeting or something. Boardwalk Mellow Clouds Pear Beach Nights from L3. Vanilla balsam. I love vanilla balsam. Oh, yeah. I've been enjoying it in blends, but seriously, I could melt vanilla balsam on its own. It's amazing. It's like probably one of the main things I'm craving for to melt at the moment. Uh, a very pretty looking bougie bar in vanilla balsam sugar cookie blackberry. Mm. I think I got a, I think I did get a few vanilla balsams in this. Uh, it's ready to ship. Uh, cashmere cream bum bum uh, Lord of Misrule from L3 again. Oh my god. That is so good. I will have more bum bum cream blends coming through. Because um, I love bum bum cream. Uh, toasted mallow sugar cookie royal zucchini bread. So I did, I remember this pre-order I uh, not pre-order, sorry, ready to ship. I did um, go a little bit heavy, quite heavy on just like lots of bakery basics. So that's why you're seeing lots of sugar cookie royales and zucchini breads and stuff. Um, Southbound strawberry marshmallow bread. Um, I think I've had this before and I enjoyed it. Yeah. It's good. Uh, so here we have a loaf of L3 uh, sugar cookie royale blackberry jam tea and cakes. So I love some tea and cakes. And I love blackberry jam, so knew that one was going to be a winner. <sighs> blue marshmallow cream cookies from Southbound. So blue sugar, vanilla sugar cookie dough, and fluffy marshmallow cream. Um, I really like blue sugar bakery blends, so I thought that would be good. I'll check it out later. Quite a few scoops, so that's my computer email. Very loud. Um... So, little spoon chiller that I always snap. I'm so bad at this. I like, yeah, I just, I have, I use, uh, it's a bit dirty, but, because I haven't cleaned it off, but I use, um, I didn't clean it off in my last scoop. Uh, I use this video, uh, video? Um, I'm going to clean that right now, actually. I'm like, where is this video going? Me showing off my dirty spoons on um, <laughs> my dirty scooping spoons. Um, this is the spoon I use for my scoops. It was like um, a, a pack from Ikea that we had for my son. This is, it scoops perfectly and it doesn't break. I'm really bad with these spoon chillers. I snap them. So if she ever did, because I know she's had some availability issues, if she, I, if she made it simple to opt out of spoons, I would do it so that other people can have them. Um... Bum Bum Cream Type Palo Santo Don't Cross Streams. See, Bum Bum is, to me, it's one of those scents that could just blend with just about anything. So it's so good. Uh, vanilla Birch and Sugar Cookie Royale from L3. So Vanilla Birch is another one I'm really into at the moment. Not quite as much as the Vanilla Balsam, but still love it. Sugared Blueberry Donuts. Um... Oh, yes, bags. So it's really hard to get polypropylene bags in Australia. Um, like the zip top ones that you guys seem to just, all the vendors have in the US, they're just not around. Like I've searched a lot. Of, I think there are suppliers out there, but they're very hard to find. And you'll find most Australian vendors don't actually offer things in zip top bags. So um, I got myself some because 
A, they're really handy. Just I, I don't rebag everything, but just to be able to like de-stash and give people samples and stuff. So I'm happy to finally have some of those. Uh, this looks like Supercar's Advent stuff. So um, what I do with the Advent, it's too difficult for me to participate in the full Advent event. Um, mostly because the Advent calendar just... It, with the timing that it ships and me having to forward, it's unlikely I'd get it in time. But what I like to do, because I know I don't love every, I'm not like a huge Christmas blend lover. I actually prefer to, you know, watch people melt their advents, see what scents they like, see if they're my jam. And then when she offers them as a pre-order later, um, I then go in and get, get the, the scents that I like. So that's what works for me. So I got day 23, uh, butter rum cappuccino, pumpkin rolls and vanilla frosting. I'll go through them in the video that I do, um, you know, of this, of the super tart stuff. Uh, so Christmas Day, cookies for Grinch, eggnog, whipped cream, and zucchini bread. I love the labels. Um, Palo Santo, blackberry, vanilla, sandalwood, and um, vanilla. I am going to smell this one because I've been looking forward to it, and I've heard it's really good. Oh, my God. It Look, it's a Palo Santo blackberry, and I love them. Um, but that one might just be the best one. It does smell similar to a lot of Palo Santo blackberries. Day five, so I got two of those. Very good thing. Good move on my behalf. Uh, day 24, so frosted air, cypress, twisted peppermint, tangerine, and driftwood. Day 13, uh, pink sugar, blueberry, pumpkin, and Christmas cookies. And then I've got suits. I've never tried this one before. So masculine cologne, candles, flower, blue sugar. Uh, day one, so plum cider donuts and orange frosted cinnamon rolls. And we have more here. So I've got some grudge. So I did do a ready to ship. Um, and I love grudge and perfect time of year for it. So blueberry muffin, vanilla bean, sandalwood, four leaves. Got two of that. I will go through that probably this autumn because I love it so much. Uh, sugar, sugar. So that's uh, pink sugar marshmallow fluff pineapple. That's a really good marshmallow pineapple scent. Day 13. So that's uh, pink sugar blue. Uh, so I got two of those. Actually, I think what I did is I did the pre-order and then I went back in when she had them up for ready to ship and I grabbed a few more of the ones that sounded really interesting to me. So I think these ones in this bag are the ones that came in that ready to ship order. Uh, so fall leaves, apple cider, coastal teakwood, that's day 15. Day 12, fir needles, mint, sandalwood, white pear and fig. Day 2, so sea salt, strawberry, ozone, birch water lily citrus and musk this was one everyone was raving about i didn't get it in the pre-order because i think i was nervous about the strawberry um but i saw people loved it so much i thought i had to try it it is really good really really nice uh never forget which is french baguette buttercream cupcakes whipped cream marshmallow sponge sugar that's one I've never paid any attention to until i think i realized i saw it on ready to ship and i saw it had french baguette and i love her french baguette Mm, so that's actually very good. Okay, so another super tarts order I had was a she did bam bags in around Christmas time. I think it was like the first bam bag order that she'd done in a while. So I jumped in to get two of my favourite bakery scents from her. So Harry, uh, which is like French baguette and magically delicious, and more fake and bake. So these two I really like for blending. Um, but I also really like them for, uh, on their own. So I figured they were band bag worthy and I do believe that they go up for pre-order again. She's doing bakery band bags tomorrow, Friday in the U S. So definitely recommend both of those two if you're in the mood for some bakery. So here I have some Luna Wax. I think. Oh, no, it's a bit of a mix. So I've got one of these um, cutie pies, I think. Um, African Rain from L3. So I think some scents that she was discontinuing, she did as these, and that sounded interesting. And then I've got some L3. So, no, Luna Wax. So Autumn Equinox, Grass Leaves, Fresh Air, Rain, Mint, Musk. I think this is her, yeah, it's her Sandy Scoopy kind of stuff, which I quite like, although 
it's um interesting it's a very interesting texture i'll show you more of it when um oh god here comes the little one um in the moment so blonde moment blue sugar vanilla buttercream um luna wax is a very underrated brand i really enjoy her stuff um indian summer so strawberry strawberries green apples pears geranium basil oak greenery i've had that as a sample it was really good so yeah i think she took a lot of time off last year um but she had a good ready to shoot with a sale earlier this year and i can't resist a sale uh day five from super tarts so another so i got three clams of day five i'm not regretting that um so i think this is a lot of lunar wax here and some samples so patchouli blues blue sugar patchouli rain patchouli i've had that before it's really good uh sample the child no idea what that will be i'll cover that when i do the video on it um on luna wax just some palo santo i just wanted to see what her palo santo is like on its own uh, mood swings when you hear her cute little piggy uh lots of samples from luna wax so sinus relief that one will go to somebody else i don't like sinus relief scents um so l3 more l3 samples so uh, salted caramel toasted pistachio cookies nil away for sandalwood probably will go to somebody else but i'll give it a smell uh cherry chip cake serendipity sugar cookie round sugar um mallow and then eight crazy nights so i'll go through them in the l3 video uh bubbling cauldron extras earthy spicy slightly smoky i think that will be luna wax yeah, it's the same handwriting as Luna Wax. Uh, sample of Hufflepuff from Super Tarts. That will go to somebody else. I don't... It's too banana -y. I'm not a fan of it. Probably this one as well, Emma Frost. I know it's really popular, but I don't love Emma Frost. I don't know. And then this sample is 17 Cherry Tree Lane with Cabin in the Woods. So that could be interesting. Still some more. Still not done. I said it's a small box because it's... um. Yeah, it only had a handful of vendors in it, but I did do a fair bit of L3 hauling, so that video is going to be quite large. Um, strawberry pound cake, Santa's on key, Santa's on keto, zucchini bread. So I have strawberry pound cake, Santa's on keto, beach nights, which I love. So I figured that that would be pretty good. Uh, steel sugar. So wanting to test all of those different new sugars. So there's gold sugar, black sugar, and steel sugar. Um, I've got gold sugar coming from another vendor. I'm not sure if I've got black sugar. Um, so this one's bergamot, apple, lavender, tobacco, cedar, vetiver, sweet gingerbread. So sounds interesting. Coffee, bean, leaves, bonfire. So that, I don't know, we'll see. And then, oh, these are cute from Luna Wax. She has some of the best shapes. These duckies. Uh, baby Groot is lemon curd, fortune cookies, and glazed donuts. That sounds really nice. Ah, uh, more scoops. I sort of forgot how much L3 I had coming, so another spoonchula. Uh, pumpkin pecan waffles don't cross streams. So this was one I was. This is where I was going out on a limb to try her pumpkin pecan waffles. Okay, yes, yes, yes. All right, I get it. So to me, there's there's. I love, I think I've been learned, I've learnt off Jessica D. So she, I know she and I both love um, Teddy B's scents with pecan waffles. And I've been hesitant to do pumpkin pecan waffles because to me, I, most of the time when I've tried it before, it's got this kind of spiced pumpkin scent that I don't love. Um, but she mentioned that, I think she mentioned some at some point that she loves the Teddy Bees one and she loves the L3 for similar reasons. So that's where I went, well, I I normally avoid pumpkin pecan waffles like the plague, but I will try this one, particularly with vanilla, to see if it's, you know, like the Teddy Bees. And it is, it is, it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so thank you, Jessica D, for putting me onto that because I never would have tried any other vendors if not if you hadn't mentioned that. Uh, Amber Noir Palo Santo Herbal Lavender Let Them Eat Cake. I thought that sounded really interesting. That's very nice. 
again, I will give more thoughts when I do each vendor's video. I will probably start filming vendor videos tonight. I'll probably do the L3 one first because it's the biggest one and I just want to get it all put away. Uh, so we'll, this is the last satchel from this forwarder box. Um, and it's all or mostly, I think, lunar wax. So these cute little bar shapes. So Headless Horseman, Red Maple and Oud Wood. These are so cute. I'm really excited. The Southbound Order was a very small ready to ship. I actually thought I had more, but no, it was, I think I just went in for the cream cookies and threw a couple of extra things in. Um, Lunar Wax Pink and Blue. So Pink Sugar Blue, Sugar Pink and Blue Cotton Candy. Have a look at that. Seriously. Lunar Wax does some of the prettiest stuff and it's so reasonably priced and her wax always performed really well for me so um i'll do a more detailed uh video obviously on her stuff when i get to it but definitely um an underrated vendor in my opinion dead dread pirate robert so salty mariner pipe smoke and smoke vanilla another one of these gorgeous little dragon melts uh so her bum bum cream uh, so pistachio, almond, heliotrope, jasmine petals, vanilla, salted caramel, sandalwood. So that's gorgeous. And then also a chunk from L3, so chrome type and South Shore. That is the whole forwarder box. So um, got some awesome stuff to get stuck into. We'll start, as I mentioned, I'll do the L3 video tonight. I'll do the rest of the videos over the weekend so I can get everything put away. So keep an eye out for those. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all again really soon. Bye.